In a Valley co-op getting the attention of the White House. Heat Sink Labs in Mesa was represented in Washington, D.C. earlier this week for their annual Nation of Makers meeting. Marcy Jones takes us inside this unique space. Great story. Yes, very exciting. They are back from the nation's capital, recognized for their innovative thinking and initiative right here in the Valley. Their self-described maker space, and here's what that all means. The best way to describe a maker space like heat sink labs in Mesa is to think of a library, but instead of books, there are different types of tools. We sort of pride ourselves on being a public resource where anyone can come in and use tools that they probably don't have access to in their home. And we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill hammer and saw. These are Tools 2.0. We'll have things like a laser cutter or a 3D printer. Um, we'll do some software development type stuff there, build robots, things like that. From sewing to welding, your time at Heat Sink Labs is literally what you make of it. It does take a little getting used to. When I came down here, you see people just kind of milling around because there's really nobody in charge. We're all volunteers. But once you see all the tools are here and if you've got a great interest to start building stuff, you'll just kind of blend right in. You just start working on your project and people will just come together and help you. A grassroots co-op of volunteers, you'll find a mixed bag of people and materials. Just ask Eric, who says not only has he learned so much from heat sink, but he's also helped others. Although I know almost nothing about uh, biomedicine and bioscience, I was able to help somebody to, uh, to manufacture a part for bio research. And that just blew my mind and was just totally amazing for me to be a part of. When the sky's the limit at this maker space, Eric says the best part is collaboration. Getting us back to being together, working together, and what it does for the community is, is pretty much immeasurable. Now you can become a member, but it's also open to the public. For hours and more information, head on over to our website, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, Marcy Jones, Fox 10 News.